come across any of these lately that have irreplaceable stuff on them. Some people might wonder like why would you want to digitize a old cassette tape? All the music is available these days, right? Well, a lot of us actually had some voice recordings on these other things that might be irreplaceable. It's not something you're gonna find anywhere else. I actually stumbled up on a stack of these that my mom had recorded in 1981 and 82 of me and my brother as babies to, to send to my grandma. There's no other way to listen to these. I mean, if you have a tape player, you can, but if, if that tape is damaged, like it's gone forever. And so I've done this before in the past. I've digitized cassette tapes and it used to be a lot easier. And now Mac has made it a lot harder. I'm sad to say, if you have a new Mac like I do, a 2021 or newer, um, you can no longer do this. So basically what you're gonna do, unless you wanna get fancy with it, is you're gonna hook your tape player up to your Mac using a line-in jack. And I'll show you real quick how to change your output on your Mac to an input. And this only works up until, well, I'm not sure what year they stopped doing this, but I had to dig out my old Mac, which is really on its last leg. It's moving so slow that it's almost unusable. Also, the, I've had the battery's been swelling and cracking. You can barely even use the trackpad anymore because the battery's cracked the whole thing. I mean, this, this thing is just about ready for the dump, but uh, luckily I was able to limp it along long enough to digitize these tapes. Okay, so one of the surprisingly hard things that might be to do is to find a tape player um, with um, a headphone jack. So you just stick that tape in there and you, you need one of these line jacks. It's um, three 3.5 millimeter on both ends. Um, put it in the headphone jack. The other end goes in your max headphone jack. Okay, now go to your settings and go to sound. So I already have it set, but your input right down here, you have this tab that says use port four and it's gonna be default. It'll say sound output because you usually use them for headphones. Just switch that to input and now it's running the other way around. You can't do this on new Macs, it's frustrating. And now just really easy, the quickest and easiest program to use is QuickTime. Obviously you can use things like Audacity or GarageBand or whatever your favorite audio program is, but QuickTime. Just do file new audio recording. And then when this comes up, it's gonna be automatically set to mute. If you wanna hear what your tape is playing, just turn this up. And now when you're all ready, probably hit record first. Make sure you get the very beginning. Just tap that record button. Go down to your tape player and hit play. Alright. You'll start seeing the audio file there and you'll if you have this turned up and clear it your Mac speakers. So you just let that record the whole tape and then you have to be ready to hit stop when it's done. And then it's gonna want to save the file out so I would just like close that but it wait where you want to save that. Tell it where. I was sending mine straight to Dropbox because I needed to get them off this computer. Um, so just title it and save it out and you've got your audio file. Finally we've got those tapes digitized. Hope this helps. Uh -huh.